This is probably one of my favorite chalk art pieces. Sometimes I get a little carried away, but if you want to see a really cool fast forward version of this, make sure you check me out on Instagram, hashtag Timelapse Thursday or Timelapse Tuesday if there's a bonus chalk art. Starry Night, Starry Marble, Timelapse. Check it out. Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to use our leftover nail polish from our DIY watercolor mug project and use the same technique to create some water marbling to turn these flat uh, glass marble pieces into a cool little designed galaxy piece. Not really sure what to call it, but we're just gonna be doing the same water marbling technique to make it look like we have this fun little galaxy trapped inside this marble. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include a disposable bowl, toothpicks, blue painter's tape, flat glass marbles, I got these from Michaels, Sharpie paint markers, and assorted nail polish. First, take your blue tape and cover up the sides of your glass marble. You want to have the flat side of your marble still exposed. Next, take your silver sharpie and use it to draw little designs and patterns on the back of your marble. For today's galaxy project, I'm going to use this to draw a few shooting stars and a moon. You could also use your toothpick to help make smaller details on your design. After your silver sharpie has dried, you want to use your heavy glitter nail polish to add a little bit of detail to the back of your design. I'm only adding a small amount of design here and there just because I don't want the glitter to be overbearing. Uh, as you can see in this one, there was too much glitter and you really couldn't see any of the marbling that we did later on. Set your marble aside and let it completely dry before moving on to the next step. While your marble is drying, take a bowl and fill it up with water. To create the water marble design, it's going to be a little different compared to our previous nail polish video. Instead of making a bunch of different designs, what you're going to do is you're going to take your nail polish and you're going to gently add it to the top of your water. And the major difference between the previous project and this project is instead of putting them in different places, you're going to take your nail polish and you're going to gently place it right on top of the previous color. You have to be a little more careful compared to the other project since you want to have it as one giant um, blob and you want to use about two to three different colors. We're using the same nail polish from our last project and you'll notice that as you do this the nail polish starts to spread out and thin. You want to get these ripples going so that you have a really cool design for your marble. Take your toothpick and then just gently Swirl it around and then set that aside. Take your marble and you're just going to dip it carefully into the design, catch it onto your marble, pull it out, and you'll notice you caught it onto the back of the marble. You can continue to do this with the remaining design, or if you want to keep it simple, just use just do this once. I'm going to repeat it one more time just to get a little bit more detail on this project. After you've dipped your marble, gently remove the blue tape and pat it dry carefully with a paper towel. You want to make sure that it's completely dry before moving on to the next step. Once the back of your marble has dried, use either black or any other colored nail polish to cover up the back of your marble. You might end up using one to two coats depending on how thick your nail polish dries up. Once the nail polish is dried on the back, you are done with this project. Hopefully you guys had fun making this project. If you have the attachment pieces, you could either turn it into a necklace or a ring, or you could leave it as is. Depending on how you water, how you use your water marbling to create the design, it could look anything like a small little galaxy inside your marble, or it could look like a starry night depending on how, what technique you actually end up using. 
Um, make sure if you make this project, share it with me either on my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag. And check out our last two videos, the DIY Paper Hearts and the Duct Tape Bow Tie. Speaking of which, if you guys entered that contest, I'm going to announce the winners. Uh, congrats to Manuel Fernandez for winning the headband. Jack Carlson found it. Jack Carlson for winning one of the Galaxy bow ties. Joe Doorway for winning the other Galaxy bow tie. Alina Bates for winning the mac and cheese bow tie. And Rebecca Perez for winning the gummy bear bow tie. Hopefully you guys had fun with that giveaway and this project. And yeah, see you guys next time and take care.